All right, welcome to what is I I'm just famous for these now after you may have noticed from my my how to make the hottest character in Saints Row 4. Well, there I don't know if you know there's a pretty robust character creation thing for 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 this game which is Dragon Age Inquisition. <laughs> and they're contacting the servers making sure that they're ready to handle the sexiness which I am about to create. <coughs> within this. And there it is. There's the servers reacting to the sexy. I am not going to import a character. So, first off, we need to <coughs> we need to go with uh base sexiness. And yes, men can be sexy too, but that's that's not what what I'm about at this moment. So, we have humans, which I mean, you'd think well, hey, there are mostly humans watching this, so a uh, human lady would be the most sexy. Wrong. Elves. Now you may think elves. They're like, I mean, look, you can see her, her like belly button there and whatnot, but uh, those ears freak me out. And then dwarfs. I don't need to tell you that that's just wrong. The answer is Kunari. Kunari. I mean, look at that. She's got the, the hips that don't lie. Breasts are, are more like Shakira lyrics. So, so we're, we're going with that. Now this is pretty immaterial. We'll just go with dual wheel rogue because that matters. And she's going to be a nightmare of sexiness. Um, sure. Yeah, all that stuff. Why not? The world state doesn't matter. Swell. Let's, let's do that. So now don't let this beginning part fool you. She, there's going to be some, some nonsense about a thing where we see what you're going to you're going to get an in initial impression and you're going to be like Matt that's not sexy I'm thumbs downing this because this is not why I clicked the video and I if the if it stayed like that I would agree with you I'd be like yes thumbs down unsubscribe and then unsubscribe you know get my hopes up or or whatever cuz I care um but that's that just uh, don't let that series of events happen because this game gives you like a glimpse of what kind of the base person would look like. You know, here it is, and you're gonna be like, "That's not sexy," and I agree with you. I I more agree with you than anybody else on the face of this planet. If you can th think about that, we got to wait. My computer's a real a real tugboat. Got to pull this along. The the Dragon Age Inquisition. Takes a lot of giggle bites to to make an inquisition. I said, I'm just staring at the uh, at the the FPS counter. I'm I'm getting 60 frames a second of of black and flashing icon in the bottom. That's comforting. All right. Okay. Here. So here we got this thing. This thing. Miss thing. Yeah. That's not. Enjoy it while you can, honey. Your plain Jane days are, are numbered and limited, num numbered to zero because there aren't there aren't any more. I mean, sure, whatever. All right, time to do this. So we're gonna customize. First, we're gonna go with the general miss. So now, face shape is kind of interesting because we're gonna just change this all anyhow. But I, Canary women with broad face are the best. And now we need the most unhuman tone possible, which I believe is probably slightly green. Get that good motion sick thing. And then the complexion. We like we like someone who looks experienced. Not like that. That's gross. We need we need yeah, there we I uh, Yeah, there we go. There's something just so sexy about like Having seen it all and been through the ringer. I mean, you know. And then eye color doesn't really matter. Who's looking at the eyes anyhow? Is there black? Let's like get as close to black as we possibly can. There we go, black. And now horns. This is where our real time to shine. Get some of that. Like they get like, wait, what's that one? Like they kind of cut off and all mangled. I, d I like the idea behind cut off and mangled, but oh, oh, just, just a, just a bald, it kind of looks like Nosferatu, perfect, super hot, 
or but the uh, of course we like sporty and chewed up we're gonna go with cornrows of course and now uh, let's get oh yeah oh oh the eye the hair color is all over I think blonde if I do know my styles blonde cornrows are the best I believe yeah that's that's right and then voice as long as the job gets done I don't care about the rest you leave me no choice yeah no she's so upset all right so far so good we have a good base from which to work now, ear size. This is where we go into the famous where every like every slider has to be up to the extreme. Ear position. No, not down there. We want up and out. Yeah, it's like she can hear your problems. She's like really and then low? Do we like them low? I think Yeah, no, low looks better. And twisted back? Hmm. Interesting. That's almost her ears are almost in her neck. It almost like she like grew them out that way because she felt bad. Wait, no. Oops. She felt bad about her horns being gone. So it did that. All right. Earlobe size. Get them them big lobes, girl. Oh, I can't. It's just one one thing. All right. All the way. Oh, she'll she'd be able to get some good gauges going in there. Cheekbones. Oh, droopy. High cheekbones are like the best. High and thick. See, now if she gets attacked from the side, her big cheekbones are protecting her. Cheek shape. We need it. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Hold on. Yeah, no, we need maximum offensive, defensive capabilities from the, the cheek shape. And I think that's, that's going good. Again, protecting the eye. If you can't see a thing, how are you going to... How are you gonna how are you gonna like fight? You need you need your, your brows to Oh yeah. Looking good. Profile's still pretty good too. Make a she'd fit good on a coin. Nope. Need to be out. Protect them. Oh good. Nice. Kinda looks like Mars attacks a little bit, you know? Super hot and sexy Mars attacks. Alright, we're doing good guys. I'm feeling good about this. A lot of, lot of eye protection going on there. We won't even need a helmet. Uh, speaking of eyes, we need the most squinty and evil ones we can get. I think those might be it. Yeah, those are it. Because, again, no, we need we need tiny, tiny, tiny. Yeah, there we go. She does it. She's like, I don't believe this bullshit. Uh-uh. No, -uh. no, no, no. Eye position. Yeah, right in there. Or wait, let's sure we tuck them under the brow. Yeah, underneath the brow, I think might be the best. Though we'll see. Zoom out. Uh. Yeah, I think. Yeah, right there. A lot of distance. You can see higher over different stuff, and then rotation. I don't even know what that that's supposed to do. Yeah, let's get in there. Squinch in. Nice. All right, holding it together, pretty good. No wait, no, eyebrow style. Give me. I want. I think I want the biggest curls I can possibly do. Ooh, I like the highlights. I think that may actually be the one we got. Eyebrow position as high as possible. Yep. Style. Uh, eyelashes. I don't. I, that doesn't even look like it's doing a thing. So we'll just. Oh wait, no. Still not done with eyes. Eyelash style, outer iris, iris color, whatever. Sure, red. There you go. You can't even see them because they're so well protected. All right, now continuing with the, the eye protection, the nose is integral, integral to the protection. We need it to take up as much space as possible in order to protect those eyes. So it looks like we're all the way up here nose position nope get in there up there no yeah gotta be up you gotta be out up and out feeling pretty good nose bridge size gigantor doesn't seem to be doing anything oh wait there we go yeah wide and 
big. Yeah, all the way up. Bridge position. Yeah. Or wait, make sure that's... Okay, that's good. Yeah, keeping everything again. Away from the eyes. Nose tip size. Just the tip. Just once, just to see how it feels. I can't... Doesn't look like it's doing a whole hell of a lot, but we'll just put that over there. Tip position, yeah, down like that. Or we can, I think, yeah, let's let's work that jet effect, kind of, so she can breathe. The air doesn't have to go down, then up to go in. It just goes straight into her nose. And then we need, we need as much as possible. Oh, yeah, right there. Big, big. Yeah, big jets facing straight in. Looking good. Broken nose for sure. It's the wolf's law. All right, now to the real stuff. We need a jaw, a good jaw. Ooh, I like pointy, pointy mouths, but those lips. Oh man. Wide, wide and big. Good sneer to be able to scare a person. Do I want it that high? No, I think down, 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 down. Spread it out, because we already got the air coming in the nose in the center. We need it just like, you know, in there in the, okay, get, yeah, real thick. When teeth come out of that, that'll be scary as hell. All right, jawline, big, much like drumline, I like it big. Okay, sucking it in, that's, I don't know. Actually, I'm thinking we go bigger. Just again, all about the protection. Keep keeping that noggin safe. Jowls, jowls to make the guys howl. Yes, done. Chin size. Oh, looking good. Wait, no, hold on. You know what? I think I'm incorrect. I need to. We need to suck everything back in. Back inside. All of it. Just. Suck it all together. Jawline. In. Just bring it in. As a lip. That's still the same. Double chin. Check. Give that, that extra neck protection. Good. And Adam's apple. This is a lady, but whatever. This is a transgendered canary. That's hot these days. All right. So far, we're looking real good. Time for scars. Again, the worn and torn thing. I like going straight through like that. That's pretty good. Oh, wait. A big one. I think there, that's good. Scar intensity. No, gotta be super intense. And then the position. Whoa. All right, yeah, in there. Vertical position. No, let's, we need to front and center. There we go. Good shit. And then makeup. This is where everything really comes together. So, get some blue. Oh, purple. I think we're, yeah. No, and we still want it to be a hint of stuff. All right. And a red will make a nice gradient. High shadow intensity, underbrow color. Again, with the red is real nice and as intense eyelash color let's get something like that oh we're looking good guys looking real hot eyeliner let's yeah go for let's go for a green yeah nice little it makes it really pop some blush well blush has to be red that's why it's called blush and intense and then oh man here's where every I was gonna switch it to a color, but I, well, actually let's have it match. Yeah, we need it to have it to match our hair. And then you gotta get them intense lips. And then lip liner, a little bit, a little bit red, just to let us know where the lips begin and end. Oh, I no, we want that red was good. And then lip shine, shine them up, son. I can't tell which way it goes more. I think that's it. All right, so there it is. Wait, no, 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 don't, no. There it is. 
the sexiest character in uh, se let's name her sexiest ever there it is the sexiest character you can make in Dragon Age Inquisition. You're welcome. <laughs>